Hi teacher friend, this is Christina Winter from Mrs. Winter's Bliss. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of this new resource on word mapping. This bundle will last you the entire year. There are more than 485 words and this resource comes in print and digital activities. So let's take a look. The first unit would be CBC words, blend and digraph, and CVCE and Val team and then diphthong <clears throat> and our controlled words. So let's take a look. I've already downloaded the file so that I could show it to you when you purchase the bundle. You're going to get each of the units in a zipped file. So let's open up this Val team activity file. When you open it, you're going to see that there is a a folder of images. If you use the platform Seesaw, you can upload these images to make activities for your students. You would first want to start here if you are using the digital slide. So let's open that. There's information on how to use the activity digital. <clears throat> and if we click on here, we'll make a copy of the Google Slides. So these would be the digital activities for students to do independently as you are working through this phonics skill. It's taking a while to load. Okay, so I've made a copy of this. The first thing you will do is just change the name so that you have a master copy in here. Um, you can click a link right here and it'll take you right to the slide that you want to work on. So let's say that we're working on long O words. Your students can look at the sound card to practice all the spelling patterns with long O. You can see some long O picture and word cards. These will be the words that are ready to be mapped. And so here would be the first digital slide. Students are going to click the button to hear Lobe. the word. Lobe. Lobe. So they'll make an association with the picture and hear the word, then they're going to say the word, they're first going to tap the word, so they'll say l, o, b. They're going to tap it, then they're going to map it, three sounds for each phoneme, and then they're going to drag the letters over to make the word. Now the silent E doesn't make a sound, so what we're going to do and how you teach it, T different teachers teach it a little bit differently, but we can keep the B and the E together because the E makes the O say the long O sound. And then we can check our word to see if we have it correctly. So this would be the independent digital activity students can use. There is also a printable activity. So they're the same words and the same activities Here's a printable that you could laminate so you can use it in small group and do several words, map the word. The kids will put the counters or the chips here for each sound and then graph the word. They write the graphemes to spell the words. Or you can use these uh, boards. So here we have the A, long A words with the silent E, so face. So students would write F and then A, and then CE here, oops, they would map the word and then they would graph the word. So there are different work boards, color and black and white, for if you like to keep it ink friendly. And then finally, these word cards are the same pictures, just another way so you can show the card like in small group or if you were in a whole group and kids, you were using whiteboards, you want to be able to show the picture so the kids get the meaning and then they will write the phonemes or write the graphemes on their whiteboards or using the template that I've provided here at the beginning. This one. So um, hopefully that helps you, but each one of the units is set up the same way where you will have three different options for students. So they have this option where you might do this in a small group, the digital, 
independent activity and then if you want to put this in a center activity where students will work there and everything is labeled for you so you won't have any missing pieces let me know if you have any questions i'm happy to help happy teaching